Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 6, Lesson 5, Problem Set. Uh, for the first problem, we see it says, Below is a relative frequency histogram of the maximum drop-in feet of a selected group of roller coasters. The first thing is we have to see what relative frequency is. And we see we have the definition here. It's a frequency for an interval divided by the total number of data values. Meaning, if um, we had 32 data points or data values and eight of them landed in a certain uh, interval then the relative frequency would be 8 over 32 which we would then reduce to get one fourth and we can put them into decimals which is good and we know that that's going to be a percentage as well so we're using fractions decimals and percents to describe this uh, when you add up all of your relative frequencies, all of either your decimals or your percentages, your decimals should equal one whole, your percentages should equal 100%, and your fractions should be uh, one whole as well. That kind of helps you as a check for your uh, relative frequencies. Now, a relative frequency histogram is a histogram that is constructed using the frequencies instead of uh, using the relative frequencies instead of regular frequencies. Meaning, if I look down at this first one, uh, this graph, and I add up all of these, the bars, um, in terms of their decimal points, because that's what I see on the left-hand side over here, is that we're talking about decimals. If I add all of those bars up, their values for decimals, I should get one whole. So that kind of helps out uh, when we discuss this chart. So uh, let's take a look at question one, or A, and it says describe the shape of the relative frequency histogram. So that means I'm going to describe the shape of what it's doing, and it looks like uh, it's skewed because I don't see anywhere where I can put a line and have it be symmetrical, meaning... Uh, to the left and to the right of my line, they match up. So it's skewed, and it's going to be skewed right because much of the data is off to the left side. What does the shape tell you about the maximum drop in feet of roller coasters? And I'm going to bring B down here because it's easier for me to write. Um, what it tells me is uh, that the majority or most of the roller coasters have a max drop between 50 and 170. That's where the majority of the data is. So I'm going to put that in. So there's my description right there. Um, what I'll do now is I'm going to bring over <coughs> uh, C, because that's my next question. Jerome said that more than half of the data values are in the interval from 50 to 130. So 50 to 130. Do you agree with Jerome? Why or why not? Well, the first thing I have to do is uh, figure out uh, what those values equal, uh, meaning the interval 50 to 90 and then 90 to 130. And I see this is it's about 27, so 27 hundredths, and then 90 to 130 looks about 33 hundredths. So if I add those two, because I'm adding this and this, these two bars, because that's the area or the position I'm looking at, my intervals, uh, I see that I'm getting about six tenths or sixty hundredths, uh, which translates to sixty percent. And uh, sixty percent fall within fifty to one hundred and thirty, meaning. Uh, if we added up all of our bars on this histogram, we should get 1.0 or one whole. So that's 60%. And uh, Jerome had said more than half. So do I agree with him? Yes. Because of that, 60% fall within 50 to 130. Let's take a look at page two. Here we are on page two, and uh, we have another frequency table here that shows the length of selected movies shown in local theaters 
over the past six months, over uh, shown in a local theater, sorry. So uh, A says, complete the relative frequency column, round the relative frequencies to the nearest hundredth. So what I have to do first is I have to figure out how many total there are. So in order to do that, I'll add up this column here, the frequency column, or I can count up all my tallies. Um, so when I add those up, I'm going to get 28. So I'm going to make the fractions first, and then I'm going to leave it to you to, do, to divide those out. Um, and remember, you're going to the nearest thousandth. So this one's going to be 1 out of 28. So if you're using calculators, you'll type in 1 divided by 28. If you're uh, not using calculators, you're going to do 1 divided by 28, just like that. So then I have 4 28s, which I know goes to 1 7th. And I might as well make this easier on myself, and I'll zoom right in. Uh, 7 28s, or... One fourth, it's the same thing. Five twenty eighths. Another seven twenty eight or one fourth. Then I have three twenty eighths and one twenty eight. So uh, there's my relative frequency, and they want those uh, into decimals and percentages there says uh, to the nearest thousandth, and then we know we're looking at percentages next. What percentage of the movie lengths are greater than or equal to 130 uh, minutes? So we know 130 minutes is going to fall right here. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't say, it doesn't talk in hours, so we're talking about these bottom two. So if I add those up, I know that it's 4 28ths or 1 7th. So you'll turn 1 7th into a decimal and then a percent. Um, so that'll help out with that one. C says draw a relative frequency histogram. And, uh, and it says label the frequency, uh, relative frequency scale starting at 0 and going up to uh, 30 hundredths marking off intervals of 5 hundredths. That's going to help you out quite a bit. Uh, so that at least they gave you a little bit of a scale going in there. I'm not going to draw the histogram because I want to kind of tackle some of these other problems in here. Uh, so we're going to take a look down at 3 to get you started because D and E have to do with your histogram. So uh, 3 says, the table below shows the highway miles per gallon of different compact cars. What is the total number of compact cars? Well, we have to figure out first uh, by adding up either my frequency or my tallies. So I have 7, 12, 14, 15, 16. So there are 16 cars that we were looking at. Complete the relative frequency column. Round the relative frequencies to the nearest thousand so um again it's out of 16 so i would do three sixteenths and i would divide that to get my relative frequency three divided by 16 this one would be four divided by 16 and i know four divided by 16 is one fourth and it'd be point uh two five or twenty five hundredths five sixteenths two Sixteenths, which would be one eighth, which will get us one hundred twenty-five thousandths. One sixteenth, zero zero, and then one sixteenth again. So those are done in fractions, and that's what you'll plug into your calculator: three divided by sixteen, or you'll set it up as a division problem, making into decimals, and that'll help out. Uh, with the uh, bottom part of this. And we see that C says, what percent of cars get between 31 and up to, but not including 37 miles per gallon on the highway? So we start uh, at 31 
up to 37, uh, but not including it. So I'm looking at these two bars. So I got about 25, and uh, what looks like it could possibly be uh, 32, but I'm, I'm not going to do it based on this. I'm going to actually use the values that I pulled from up here. So that'll help you to get a little bit more precise. Now, D says, Juan drew the relative frequency histogram of the highway miles per gallon for the compact car shown to the right. Did Juan draw the histogram correctly? Um, it looks like he didn't. And I'm noticing this because uh, he kind of left out a few things here that he needs. Uh, he stopped at 46. And uh, it looks like that I have two more in here. 46 to 49 and then 49 to 52. And the reason why I have to draw those is because I actually had a value of between 49 and 52. So uh, Juan didn't draw it correct. Uh, he left out two intervals. So uh, for C, again, use your calculations. D is just based on this. But his histogram is correct other than the fact that he left out two intervals. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and good luck on the rest of your problem set.